Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Andy the Phenom of Phenom Studios, here to do another video for you guys. Uh, a unique video, I think. It's an idea, I thought that just popped in my head, so I'm, like literally a couple minutes ago, so I'm acting on it, I'm doing it, instead of thinking about it, or uh, it fading away into the ether. I'm trying to act on these video ideas uh, as soon as possible. So this video is about meeting people that you look up to, uh, want to learn from, people that maybe you see as celebrities or famous or famous guys, someone that you may idolize, meeting them in person or uh, meeting them specifically at a con, and, and how to handle that interaction and, and what to say to them. I went to uh, Comic Con Revolution in West Palm Beach, and I was there at an artist alley. As my, that was that was my first show in artist alley selling. But there was a bunch of bunch of famous um, famous famous writers and artists there that work for Marvel, DC, Image. They do their own indie comics, and I, I learned some things from from this past weekend, and I'll, I just want to share it with you guys. So I am naturally introverted, and and oh my god, for, when you're when, when seeing these people in person, I'm I was fanboying and freaking out inside and getting all nervous. Believe me, I'm the guy that, and this happened at the con. Um, Jeff Decal, he's a cover artist for Marvel, DC, and uh, anyone that pays him. He's a freelance artist, uh, amazing artist. Uh, I walked by his booth and uh, I was in full Spider-Man gear, and I was like, "Hey, Jeff!" Like, but I was like stuttering and um, um, I was just, I was, I was telling him that uh, I was asking him about like the panels he's gonna be at to, uh, that day and like what time. But boy, was I nervous. And uh, it just, it just, it felt awkward. Like I, I can tell that I'm coming off as a really nervous wreck. But uh, I, I, as the con went on, and I was getting more, com I was meeting more and more writers and artists. I was getting more comfortable talking with them. And then by the end of it, I was, it was, I was, I was doing pretty good. Now let me tell you how I got to that point. This is the number one thing I can think of that will help you with interactions with with, the, with these type of folks. You need a specific question. <clears throat> I am not the type of person that can wing it like that. Not not usually, you know. I, I need to have something already set in stone in my mind, uh, a guideline that I'm gonna say, gonna talk about, and um, and get me through the conversation. If you're going up to one of these guys that you're already nervous about meeting, and, and then you don't know what you're gonna say, it's just gonna be a train wreck, and. And God bless them. They're gonna try to walk you through it. Like uh, <laughs> this happens to me all the time. I'll, 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 I'm, I'm, gonna, I'll, I'm talking to someone, and they can tell. It doesn't even have to be a celebrity or anyone I look up to. It can be a regular person, maybe a girl. They can tell how nervous I am, and, and you can tell when their eyes open up, like you're talking, and they go like this. <laughs> like they're trying to lead you through the conversation. They, they, they feel for you. They want to help you. They want to make you comfortable. But you can you can tell that they see that you're nervous, and uh, a lot of the writers and artists were doing that to me. But if you just have a specific question, you're gonna be good because they want to help you. Uh, most of them want to help you. Most of them are really really good dudes, and um, they like they like the interaction, and they'll give you good advice if you have a sp specific question. If you're a writer, or artist, or any other kind of creative uh, creator, and you're you're in the field trying to learn it, then I'm sure you must have questions. You must have doubts, fears, uh, things you're trying to learn. Save those questions. Even have a, ha write them down if you have to. F write it down and then go up to the person and read it off a piece of paper if you have to. But you can't. But you don't. Don't go up to them not having anything to say, because it's it's going to be awkward. It's going to feel awkward. It's going to it's going to be weird. And again, they want to help you. So if you have a specific question. Uh, you're good to go and and once they start going once they start answering the question as you're listening taking note that will lead to more questions and, and more conversation and then you can you, you build off of that at one point I was going to several panels asking them the same question the thing I was asking was I was talking about how you open up you're, you're looking at a comic book and then you have the, the character but I was asking about the background how the how they have everything drawn um, you know beautifully like the panels on a in a, 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 a window, the cracks in the wall, the shine in the doorknob, the buildings, like, does, does every artist already have all that figured out? They know what everything looks like? Because that's very intimidating to me, uh, trying to get into the comic, comic book industry, like, 
uh, you have to having to know that. Like I'm still trying to figure out how to draw hands, let alone what a, what the what folds and laundry look like, what the bed sheets look like. It's crazy. But um, I was I was asking that to several artists, and they were like, "No, man, you don't need to know what everything looks like. You know, use your reference." Jeff Decal was saying, "Do what you have to do, like to get the job done." You know, it's okay to use reference and and, and, and take things here and there. Make it your own, but. Like definitely go for it. And once you start talking to them and you see that they're normal people, then you really start to relax. You, you get more comfortable. But you have to, you have to, you have to practice. By the end of the con, I, I was feeling pretty good, you know, because I was going through those growing pains and um, and figuring it out. But believe me, you're gonna get better at talking and, and interacting. It just takes a little practice, and it, it can happen really quickly. You can get comfortable really quickly. Like just think about how you how you are with your, your close friends. Like you're you're probably silly, you'll crack jokes, say vulgar things maybe, and then you'll meet someone that you don't know and you're like I mean usually introverts are like that. Maybe not everyone watching this is an introvert, but I'm generalizing. But just try to be yourself, man. And what that mean what that means is don't be scared of being judged or being awkward or being weird, you have to just go for it. And having a specific question will guide you. Like, be yourself, but with that question, your anchor, like, you're gonna go far with that. All right, uh, that's it for this video. I wanted to make it short and quick. Hope that, hope that helps uh, anyone. Let me know in the comment section if that helped or if you have any more advice on interacting with with people at the con. And, um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, guys, get them out.